All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the live Bible study of Metanoia Christian Ministries. And ito naman po yung lingkod. This is Pastor Macho. Again, let's uh, let's go straight to the word. But uh, before that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, Panginoon, maraming salamat po once again for this night. Uh, to the people that are here, Lord, you said in your word that two or three gathered, there you are in the midst of them. It is why right now we acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word, for this is manna, this is bread. We can use this in our practical uh, daily lives, Lord God. Magagamit namin ito. Kaya itong gabing ito, Panginoon, ang bawat salita na lalabas sa aking bibig will go straight directly to their hearts that it may be quickened, Panginoon, nang sa ganun, ito'y malakaran namin sa aming araw-araw na buhay upang mas mapagaang at mas lalo namin malakaran ang buhay na walang hanggan na inyong bigay. In this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. All right, so praise God. So tonight, ang, uh, ang title ko is uh, Ministry, Love in Action. Well, as I was praying, uh, uh, this is what the Lord gave me to uh, to share with you guys tonight. And uh, napaka-importante po kasi to. Kasi alam niyo po, you know, when we talk about ministry, alam niyo po, we, we all have a ministry. Hindi naman ibig sabihin yung ministry, eh, ito, 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 may center, ito, dito sa pulpito. You know, we, we all have a ministry. You know, if 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 you're a mother or if you're a father, your ministry is your family. Kung wherever kung saan ka, your workplace, that's your ministry. Ministry mo yan eh. You know, from the word a ministry, it means service. Kaya nga yung minister, it simply means to serve. That's what a minister is for. It's to serve. Service. Yun yung ginagawa natin. And for me, my my my, my definition of ministry, this is an avenue or it, it it's a thing that touches lives. You know, yun ang ministry. Kasi ang motivation ng ministry, napaka, para matawag kang ministry, pag ako ang tatanungin nyo po, para matawag kang ministry, kailangan po yung motivation mo at yung foundation mo is none other than love. Amen? You, you, are, to serve, you are to serve with love. Hindi yung serve ka, hindi yung ginagawa mo to out of obligation, out of uh, kailangan mo lang gawin, or, or napilitan lang. It's not that. You know, ministry is not even about, you know, higay ko, ta, tayo tayo ministry. There's a bunch of board direct board of directors, tayo ka ng ganyan, marketing department, advertisement, hanggang uh, mag-ads ka, and then punta ka dyan, punta ka dyan, kuha ka. You know, I'm not saying that's, the, hindi ko sinasabi na masama yun, na hindi tama yun. Those are tools to, in, in enhancing the ministry. Pero ministry is nothing apart from your relationship with the Father. Kasi pag yun ang nawala, then you don't have a ministry. Kasi ministry is always founded in love. Kaya yun yung ating dadaanan ngayong gabing ito para mas maunawaan natin what ministry is all about. It's not just about a bunch of, you know, setting up, you know, sinasabi ko, set up ka or matra, kuha tayong sec para ma-approve. And then may BIR, mga ganyan. Hindi, hindi ganun eh. Outside of your relationship with the Father, Kapatid, you don't have a ministry. Without love, if your motivation uh, for doing this or serving is not love, you are not in the ministry. You know, pwede natin tignan na ganito na. Minsan meron sa inyo, meron sa inyo dito that uh, na maaring kailanman eh hindi po tatayo dito sa harap o hindi magtuturo dito sa harap. Pero legit na nasa ministry ka. Na kanya ibig ko sabihin, meron din naman na tatayo dito, magtuturo dito at uh, pero hindi rin siya nasa ministry. So ang tanong, paano natin malalaman? Paano natin malalaman na nasa ministry ka ba o wala? Ito 'yun eh, here's the thing. Pwedeng may tumatayo dito na nagtuturo. Like like like, like the thing, ito, mga tinuturo namin, you're preaching the same word, preaching the same message, even the same style, even the same 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 uh, same delivery, okay? Pwede yan, di ba? Same messages. Pero alam mo kung paano, if, if, uh, how you know if, he's a, uh, if he is a minister or not? Alam nyo kung paano malalaman? Paano natin malalaman? How do we know? Ito yan. If someone stands up here, nandito, kung nasan ako ngayon, and ang motivation niya is what he can get or he can give to the people, now that's a minister. Now, kung meron naman tatayo dito, if someone stands up here and teaching and preaching and saying the same things, pero ang motivation niya is what he can get from the people, that's not a minister. Now, kung ano yun? You know, guys, 
if 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 yung motivation mo is na yung sinabi kong ito mga bagay na to is kung ano yung makukuha mo sa tao you know you can fake them all you want but you know it, darating yung araw na lalabas at lalabas yan hindi you, you can you can fake them for a while ang tao magfi-fake mo ng konti yan sa glitch na lang pero lalabas at lalabas yan kasi may expiration yan amen and i'm not just talking about money Okay, I'm not just even talking about money. If you are even motivated to preach and to teach and to do all these things to get the praises of the people, then you're not a minister. Ayaw ko sabihin yung word eh. If you're not a minister, then you're this. You know, gusto ko na lang sabihin na, hindi ka minister kung ganyan ka. You know, kasi y- yan lang mga praises na yan. It gets to your head. You have to remember, alam mo, straw ka lang naman eh. Alam mo, straw lang naman tayo. Ba't ba't yung sinabi, straw? Alam mo, parang sa soft drinks or sa tubig, ano? So kung, so kung yung mga tao sumisipsip at umiinom ng rivers of flowing water ni Jesus through you, eh ikaw lang yung daluyan. Hindi sa'yo nang gagaling yun. Nang gagaling yun sa Ama. Nang gagaling sa Panginoon yun. Amen? Hindi hindi ikaw yun. Okay? Kaya kung, tut- kung titignan nyo nga po, dito kami, you know, here in this ministry, Brother Ron and I, kung tutusin po kami po, wala po kami sweldo rito. Not that we're bragging about it. Hindi na, again, okay? Uulitin ko po. Hindi rin po sinasabi at hindi ko po sinasabi na masama din yun. Okay? I'm saying this because this is just us. Why? Because we see and we know in our hearts that the ministry is an avenue for us to give. Amen? Ito po yung paraan na para makapagbigay din kami. Not just our time, our effort, everything po. Binibigay po namin din dito. Now, let me repeat. Because we we uh, ginagawa namin to, hindi namin sinasabi na dapat ganun din yung ginagawa ng iba. We're not saying that and I'm not saying that. Pero sinasabi ko lang po ito kasi po itong ginagawa namin, hindi po ito trabaho para sa amin. Ginagawa namin to out of compassion because we are moved with compassion. Amen? And, and it, 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 it's the same thing that the Lord has, already, uh, has blessed us with businesses and yun naman nagsusustain ang families namin. So this ministry is an avenue for us to give at ganun din kayo. Why? Because in our hearts, We know that this is good ground. Amen? This is good ground. And we know that you are good ground. We are sowing the word in your lives. And it also gets, bumabalik din po sa amin yan. Amen? Nakukuha niyo po. Now, bakit ko ba binabanggit ito? Because sinasabi ko, this is, mini- this is what ministry is all about. Kasi ang nangyayari po, ang nangyayari sa mga ministry, well, hindi ko naman nila lahat na no? na iiba po yung motivation nila nangyayari nagugulo and even you know even in our workshops yung mga workshops na ginagawa po namin we're not getting out, uh, something out of that kumbaga maliban doon sa sa fulfillment na naisi-share namin yung salita ng Diyos so those are just yung mga yung mga fees po na kinukuha namin diyan are just accommodations po ng mga hotel and other than that the word it's free because freely we receive freely we give that's a message from God So ministry, mga kapatid, is not just a piece of paper na napa-approve mo sa SEC na may ministry ka na, na may board of directors ka na, na may BIR ka na. Hindi po yan ang ministry. Apart from your relationship with the Father, you do not have a ministry. What you have is a company. Amen? Let's go to John 15 verse 5. This is my first verse. It says here, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, what does it say? Bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Apart from he, him, we can do nothing. Tulad na sabi ko nga kanina, di ba? Straw ka lang. Daluyan lang naman tayo, mga kapatid. Pag medyo naipit yung straw na yan, bumaluktot yan, op, op, op. Wala nang dumadaloy siya. Di ba? Anong, anong gagawin mo? Hindi ka may tatapon. Pero siya, kukuha, kukuha ang bago kasi hindi ka na magamit. Amen? Ay, peke, itong straw na to, kuha ka ng mas matigas, kuha ka ng mas maayos. Guys, without fellowship from the Father, walang masisip-sip sa'yo. Tuyo ka. Walang makukuha. Walang dadaloy. Di ba? Wala kang mabibigay. Like I said, you can fake fee- people for a while, pero lalabas yan, malalasahan nila ang nangyayari sa mga tabang. Amen? Wala na ata lasa. Why? Kasi hindi tayo konektado. Natutuyo. And then, anong naibibigay mo? Religion. Rules. Ang naibibigay mo, ikaw na. At hindi na ang Panginoon. Ikaw na. Yung ginagawa mo na. Yung kaya mo nang gawin. At hindi na yung grace na tinanggap mo from Jesus. Amen? Kasi hindi ka na konektado. Hindi natin namamalayan yan. 
Tandaan natin, wag wag natin pagsamahin yung relationship with our father, yung intimacy with the father sa ministry. Magkaiba po yung ministry dun sa intimacy natin sa Panginoon. So hindi big sabihin may ministry ka, may intimacy ka. Nakukuha niyo po? Ministry is born out of your relationship with the Father. I want us to see this. Tignan niyo to para mas makita lang natin na para lang ma, ma, ma maging ma-specify na gusto. It says in Acts 19 verse 11, I want us to see this. It says here, now God worked unusual miracles by the hands of Paul. Okay? Now, who worked the unusual miracles? Sino daw yung nag-work ng unusual miracles? Sino daw? Pina. Sino daw? God. By whose hands? Paul. Amen. So malinaw sa si inyo dapat ito. I've seen people when the glory gets to their head, na inisip nila sila na. It's Jesus. Through you. It's just through us. Daluyan lang tayo mga kapatid. He's the one working not us. Vessel lang tayo. In and through us. Amen? In and through you. Because apart from Him, we can do nothing. Amen? Let's go to John uh, verse, uh, John chapter 5, verse 19 to 20. Tignan natin dito. So we're gonna look at the life of Jesus. We're gonna look at the ministry of Jesus. Kung paano po bang ginawa niya. Para malalaman natin, okay, this is what ministry is all about. It says here, Then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself. But what he sees the Father do, for whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. And then in verse 20, For the Father loves the Son and shows him all things that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. So what this is saying, walang ginagawa yung anak nang hindi niya nakitang ginagawa ng ama. So everything na ginagawa ng anak is yun yung ginagawa ng ama. Kung ano yung puso ng anak, yun yung puso ng ama na nakuha niya galing sa ama. Okay? Let me just read this in the uh, message translation. It says here, So Jesus explained himself at length. I'm telling you this straight. The son can't independently do a thing only what he sees the father doing what the father does the son does the father this is what i want us to see loves the son and includes him in everything he is doing now let me ask you what is the motivation of the father the father loves the son Love. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang motivation ng father for loving the son is love at lahat ng ginagawa niya came from love at yung nakikita ng anak, yun ang ginagawa niya na nakikita niya sa ama. So, anong ginagawa ng anak? Love din. Ano yung lumalabas din motivation ng anak? Love din. Si Jesus yun. And now, if we have a relationship with the Father and we are now sons and daughters, what is our motivation? What should be our motivation? It's also love. Pero hindi lalabas yan if your relationship with the Father is somehow parang out of tune or di, uh, di ako naniniwalang mawala yan kasi anak ka na eh. Tinanggap mo na si Jesus eh. Meron dapat yan. Ang sinasabi ko lang, baka mamaya nakakaligtaan natin pakipag-usap sa kanya. Amen? And this love, itong motivation, at itong love, itong mercy, itong grace, itong compassion, actually, later on, at, uh, mamaya, ang pag, uh, most of the things na pag-uusapan <coughs> pag, natin yan, and isi-share ko sa inyo, is about compassion. Kasi doon umikot yung ministry ni Jesus, sa compassion. Amen? So this should be our motivation in ministry, mga kapatid. Kasi lahat po tayo dito may ministry. The real... And, and the very reason that you're here listening, or kung na, wala ka man dito ngayon sa center, nasa online ka, and you have, you know, sa, sa, you have been yearning to learn, you are in the ministry. At ginagamit ka, at gagamitin, at gagamitin ka ng Panginoon. Amen? Sa ministry, hindi mo naman talaga kailangan magkaroon ng opisina, or headquarters, or center. Yes, we have this, because it's the, God provided this. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na may ganyan ka, e-ministry ka na. Amen? 
Now we all, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ministry tayo sa, sa bawat isa sa uh, uh, areas of our lives. Kung nasa family ka, sa workplace, ministry mo yan eh. Amen? Geto na lang. Just imagine yourself. Okay, just imagine yourself na how do you know if you're in the ministry? If you're a minister, imagine yourself na puno ka. Kasi siya puno. Hindi naman, wag naman yung puno na walang bunga. So, puno ka na nagbubunga. Okay? Puno ka na nagbubunga. Pag, pag nakikita ang punong-puno yung bunga mo at napapansin mo parang walang kumakain ng bunga mo, parang may problema. Okay? Saan? With your relationship with the Father. Get back to relationship. Baka mama yung ugat mo hindi na umaabot to sa ilalim or baka, better yet, baka naman mamaya may humahangang. You have to get back to relationship. Napaka-importante yan. Even before, I always... I always teach about intimacy with the Father. I had this teaching before you busy ka ba? That was a long time ago. Two, uh, how many? Ano ba? 2023 na. So that was three years ago. Nung tinuro ko yun. Kasi napaka-importante ng intimacy mga kapatid. Diyan tayo natuturuan ng Panginoon eh. At dyan din tayo nagkakaroon ng lakas at, 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 at daan and path on which path to take sa araw-araw natin buhay. Amen? Yan, yung opportunity to to be a blessing to others, nandiyan din. Diyan din na ibibigay ng Panginoon. Now, sinasabi ko sa inyo, pag, pag yung bunga mo, walang kumakain yan, malalaman mo, when, when you are not in the ministry, when people, malalaman mo kasi, if you are in the ministry, people comes to you. People will come to you. Because they see the presence of God nandun, yung counsel yung nandun, yung wisdom nandun. Kahit saan ka pumunta, pupunta sila sa'yo. Hindi mo kailangan mag-advertise ng sarili mo. Amen? Makikita mo yan. Magugulat ka na lang. Talaga may lalapit sa'yo. May kakausap sa'yo. May magtatanong sa'yo. Kasi may presence, yung presence of God nagmamanifest sa buhay mo. Nakikita nila yan. At lalong lalo na yung compassion lalabas yan. Kaya nga, actually, doon papunta yung message ko ngayong gabing ito sa compassion. Kasi yung mga bagay nito, you cannot take these things. Hindi mo mapepeke ito, kapatid. Siguro kung mapeke mo man, sandali lang. Tapos darating yung time na mapapagod ka na sa kakapeke mo. Amen? John 3 verse 16, it says here, New King James translation, it says, For God so loved. Ano ulit? Ulitin natin, For God so what thou? Loved the world that He what? Gave. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Which is why Lagay natin sa puso natin ito ngayong gabi, mga kapatid. For God so loved the world He gave. The greatest action of love, you know what is? Giving. For God so loved the world, what did He do? He gave. Alam nyo ba itong love na ito? Yung love na nagmanifest sa Ama at pinababa ni kan kanyang anak para ipako sa cross, para, para sa pagpapatawad ng mga kasalanan. At nang sa ganun na... Uh, Uh, nang sa ganun eh, through, uh, through the cross, lahat ng kasalanan natin ay mapatawad. Bakit ba? namatay siya ron, namatay siya sa cross, para saan? Pinayagan siyang ipababain ng ama, para saan? Dahil saan? Sa pagmamahal niya, para sa atin. Hindi niya pinababa yun, dahil nainis siya sa mga tao. Pinababa niya si Jesus, dahil sa pagmamahal niya sa atin. Amen? At itong pagmamahal, this same love, na namove ang Panginoon, para pababain si Jesus, that same love is already in us. It says in Romans 5 verse 5, it says, Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. The love of God has been what thou? Poured out. Into where? Our hearts. Nasaan love of God? Nasayo. It's in you. If you have it, how do you know? For God so loved the world, what did He do? He gave. So, if the love of God is truly manifesting in my life, I give. Ang isang manifestation ng love sa buhay mo is you're a giver. Why? Because love gives. Amen? Now, I'm not saying you don't have it. Kung saan, parang nakikita mo, parang hindi naman yata ako nagbibigay. Parang hindi yata ako giver. So, hindi ko sinasabing you don't have the love of God. You received it. Nandyan yan sa'yo. You may not have contact with it yet. Baka hindi mo... Baka medyo nalulus kontak kayo, pero nandyan yan, kapatid. Nandyan yan. Or you may be in the flesh. Amen? 
Oh, parang nananahimik kayo. <laughs> This is the greatest action of love. Love gives. Amen? God gives. Now, if God gives and love gives, sabi ko nga sa, sa inyo, love's greatest action is giving. Amen? Now, alam nyo ba that from this action, from this action of giving, you develop an attitude. And what is that? Forgiving. For God so loved the world, He gave His Son to forgive your sins. So ang attitude ng love, ng, uh, uh, yung action ng love is giving, and then yung attitude nun is forgiving. Nakuha nyo what love is? Nakuha nyo? I hope you're getting this. All right? What is forgiving? After God gave, He forgave. The thing that happened to me is proof na rin sa akin na truly the, the, the love of God has been manifesting in my life ever since. Kasi ever since this case started, alam nyo naman yung nangyari sa akin. You know, up until now, I forgave that guy. And alam nyo kung makikita kami, yung gumawa nito sa akin, ay hakapin ko pa siya. And syempre, we're gonna talk about things, you know, na kung saan ba nagka-problema and everything. Wala akong ni konting katiting na galit. Why? Because the love of God is in my heart. Amen? At lalabas yan. Actually, hindi mo, kailan, hindi mo maniwala kayo sa akin, hindi mo kailangan pilitin yan. Kusa lang talaga siya. Lumalabas talaga siya. If you are in contact with that love that is already poured out into your heart. Amen? Amen? So Jesus went to the cross for love. Para saan ba? Para mapatawad tayo. God gave His Son so that we may be, we can be forgiven. Love gives and then forgives. Ulitin natin, love gives and forgives. And God is love. Amen? So true minister gives. Di ba? Okay, no? this, one, you know, this one minister, naalala ko, uh, this one minister of the word, Uh, people have been saying things about, about him, things against him, na sinasabi na prosperity daw siya, na ganito, bakit ako humibigin ng mga ganito, basyado daw lavish yung uh, pananamit niya and everything. You know what? Hindi man lang nila nakita, hindi man lang nila nasilip, because hindi naman niya yan sinasabi, hindi naman kailangan pangalandakan kung may binibigay ka. Okay? Itong taon to, kung, kung alam nyo lang, itong minister na ito, he has been giving hundreds of houses to people. You know how much houses kung kotse nga yata, may hirap ka magbigay. You know how much a house is? Binipigay niya yung sa tao. So who are you to condemn that guy for giving? For, for having a blessed day? So syempre kung blessed siya, talaga nakikita sa, 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 pag, sa, nakikita sa kanya, nagmamanifest yung blessing ng Panginoon. And he gives. Amen? No wonder he's blessed. Because he's a giver. God gives seeds to sower. But this is not our topic tonight. Actually, it's not giving. We're at, ang topic natin ngayon is ministry, is yung love. Pero anak kasi ng love yung giving. Amen? So kaya na isasama ito. I have so much testimonies about giving and receiving, but you know, in some other messages, maybe ma may, may kikwento natin yan. But these things, you become this when the love of God is manifesting in your life. Amen? The so love gives and forgives. And what? Moves on. Nag-forgive ka na eh. So you have to move on. Amen? So now, God is love and love gives and forgives. So if that's the case, let's go to the next verse. It says here in 1 John 4, verse 7 to 8, it, said, it says, Beloved, let us love one another for love is of God and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Now, ano ulit yung love? Love gives and forgives. So, beloved, let us love one another for love. This is for love, giving and forgiving is of God. And everyone who loves, giving and forgiving, is born of God and knows God. Now, in verse 8, it says, He who does not love, he who does not gives and forgives, does not know God, for God is love. Ito na lang. He who does not love, does not know God. If you don't give and forgive, You really don't know God. I'm not saying you're not saved. I'm not saying wala kang connection. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you need to know God. Kailangan pa siyang makilala. Amen? I'm not saying this in a condemning way. Please, the con condemnation is from the enemy. Tapon mo yan. Pakondem. Kung sakaling nandyan ka ngayon, okay? This is just a heart check. Just uh, Sabihin na natin just a wake-up call. Parang, you know, poop, poop. okay, medyo na, na out of tune na pala ako. You know, back to intimacy. Back to relationship with the Father. Baka masyado na napupunta tayo sa mundo, na masyado na tayo napupunta 
sa mga nangyayari sa buhay mo, medyo ka na-focus ka na sa problema mo, you just need to go back into intimacy with the Father, go back to your relationship with the Father, so somehow mabuhay ulit yan at tunay na luwabas kung sino ka. Amen? Amen. So, tatanong, tanongin mo lang naman sa sahili mo yan, nagbibigay ba ako or guilt-giving ako? Amen? Nagbibigay ba ako? Nagigilty ako? Please, guys, we, we always say this, if you are giving out of guilt, don't give. Wala rin yun eh. You must give out of the abundance of your heart na tuwan-tuwa out of a cheerful heart, out of a giving heart, you give. Why do you give? Because you love to give. It's you. It's your nature. Amen? Because love gives. Amen? And then after that, what? Forgive. Bakit? Kasi lason yung unforgiveness. Sa totoo lang, lason sa buhay yan. At, at sobrang sarap sa pakiramdam ng nakakapagpatawad. Tanggal yung bigat eh. Binigay mo sa Panginoon eh. Pinatawad ka nga niya eh. Di ba? Di ba nakita mo pinagpatawad tayo ng Panginoon? So who are we not to forgive? At saka sinasabi ko sa inyo, laso niya, please forgive. Amen? And if you think you already are in the ministry, tapos itong mga nabanggit ko, wala ka, and somehow wala ka ng contact dito sa mga to, hindi ko sinasabing hindi ka ito ha, kasi naniniwala ako, if you are a born again believer, the love of God is already in you. So hindi ako naniniwala ng wala ka nito. It's just that you're not operating in the love of God. Bakit? Because you're in the flesh. Or baka naman mamaya na out of tune ka lang, napupunta ka sa iba, medyo not in contact with the Father. Amen? Pero I'm not saying na wala ka. Yan ka eh. So kailangan mapakita mo, not, not necessary mapakita mo sa ibang tao. Diba? Importante is lumabas yan sa'yo. Kasi may fulfillment doon eh. At makikita mo, you will be at peace pag lumalabas kung sinong tunay na ikaw. Amen? Amen? Pag hindi ka, ito yan eh, pag hindi ka kasi nakakabit sa pinanggagalingan ng love, wala kang maibibigay eh. So how can you be in the ministry if you are not connected with love? Yes, the love of God is there, pero kung hindi ka nakakonekta, hindi ka naman nakatingin, hindi mo naman nilalabas, pinipigilan mo pa. O paano? Diba, sabi ko nga sa inyo, we all have a ministry. Lahat tayo may ministry sa pulpit man yan, sa kalsada man yan, sa workplace man yan, sa opisina mo man yan, sa bahay mo man yan, o sa garahe, o kung saan man lugar. Mga kapatid, ministry is about love. In this ministry, we have a jail ministry. Kaya lang, di ba, nagpunta kayo. What do you feel when you're there? Di ba, nilalabas nyo yung love, yung compassion na nandiyan sa loob ninyo. Do you just know kung anong impact niyan doon sa mga nakakulong? Kung may mga tao na doon nakakulong na iniisip nila wala ng kwenta yung buhay nila na iniwan na sila, dahil nandoon kayo. Because you let compassion and the love of God rule you to go there and visit them You just don't know kung anong impact na nabibigay niyan sa kanila. At yan yung purpose na binibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Para maibigay at maipasa yung pagmamahal na binigay niya sa atin. Amen? And as you minister, doon mo ngayon makikita yung love that is in action. Ako niyo ko, that is ministry. Ministry is about love. And when you minister, what do you do? You give and then you forgive. You build up. You encourage. You heal the sick. Diba? You reach out. Diba? When you have no other agenda, when you are just out to love people, walang steps yan, mga kapatid. At hindi yan weird. It just flows out. Hindi yan yung nagpipilit. Lumalabas lang talaga ng kusa yan. Amen? Love. So in Matthew 9 verse 36, it says here, But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion. Now, here we go with compassion. May mga bibigay ako sa inyo mga verses that has compassion in it. Kasi gusto kong makita po ninyo that the ministry of Jesus revolved around compassion. And if this, ito yung ministry niya, and we are in the ministry, hindi ka pwede mapunta sa ministry nang wala ka nito. Nang hindi lumalabas sa ito. At hindi rin ito lalabas sa iyo kung hindi ka rin konektado sa ama. At wala kang relationship. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them because they were what? Weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. You see this? When compassion operates, hindi bas, hindi yan yung bastang, okay, okay, eh, yun lang, yun lang, yun lang, hindi, parang wala lang, parang may nakita, uy, may nakita kang ano dyan, may problema, o naliligaw, o ano man. 
If you are moved by compassion, if you are moved with compassion, you will reach out. Because compassion reaches out. Now, let me just define a compassion for you. Compassion means here, I'm going to give you a definition. Compassion, to have the bowels yearn, the kidneys, the lungs, the yearning of the bowels. No, meron akong uh, definition dito. It means deep awareness of suffering coupled with the wish to relieve it. Like I always say, mga, ka mga, ka mga kapatid, compassion is not just an emotion. Iba yun, okay? Compassion is not an emotion. Empathy, sympathy, pity is not compassion. Magkaiba din po yan. Yung mercy, iba din yun. Actually, yung mercy, it's, that is a fruit of compassion. Yung mercy. So here's one definition I found about compassion. Let me read it to you. The spirit of the word compassion is synonymous with doing. Compassion is not concerned with material or physical things. It's concerned with the human spirit and soul. The spiritual definition of compassion involves acting to alleviate the suffering of others. Kaya nga lagi ko sinasabi, compassion is always followed by an action. Hindi mo mapipigilan to have the bowels yearn. Hindi mo mapipigilan na hindi, ano mo, na hindi mailabas. Hindi mo mapipigilan na wala kang gawin. It's compassion. God moved by compassion. God was moved by compassion when He gave Jesus. Love, compassion. So hindi ito yung, ay, kawawa naman itong mga to. Kawawa naman, ba't nga, ba naman kasi itong mundo nito, eh, kawawa naman itong mga to, kung di kasi dahil sa gobyerno, sa ganyan, ganyan, kung sinasabi, tapos wala na, you go on your own way. Hindi yun, hindi yun, tuloy buhay, hindi yun, hindi yun yung compassion. Pity yun, or baka simpati lang, nakisimpat siya ka lang, eh, wala. Wala. Hindi, hindi compassion yun. Amen? Let's look at this. Matthew chapter 15, verse 32. It says here, Now Jesus called his disciples to himself and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they have now continued with me three days and have nothing to eat and I do not want to send them away hungry lest they faint on the way. You see how, what compassion is? You see, when you are moved in compassion, hindi pwedeng wala kang gawin. Kaya sabi ko kanina, compassion is not an emotion. Kasi pag napagpag mo yan, hindi compassion yan. Or baka kung napagpag mo man, eh, nagpipigil ka. Hindi mo na ilalabas yung love of God na nandiyan sa'yo. Guys, when this operates, you can't stop it. May hirap ang pigilan yan. Compassion gives and provides. Hindi niya sinabi dito, nako, wala tayo pagkain eh. Uh, Papalisi mo na, sabi mo, tapos na. Wala na eh, makakain eh. Hindi sinabi dito. No, Jesus did not say that. He was moved with compassion, kaya he gave and provided. Amen? Nakikita niyo, pag uh, moved with compassion, now, let me be clear. Alam ko, hindi naman natin kayang tulungan lahat. Baka naman mamaya, biglang ma-flesh ka na lahat. Kino pinagtutulungan mo na. Now, I have nothing against that. If 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 you are being moved with compassion, then go ahead and do that. It's between you and God. Alam mo naman, if it's coming from God, yung ginagawa mo, and it's not just flesh, or it's not just works. Importante, compassion is really working in your life. Kasi yun naman, kaya na tayo nakatanggap sa Panginoon, at kaya niya tayo bina kaya binago niya yung buhay natin para makapagbago din ng ibang buhay. Amen. Makikita mo may fulfillment yan. You'll know and God knows your heart. Amen. Compassion sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, compassion is not pity and sympathy. Compassion is birthed out of uh, is birthed out of your relationship with the Father. Lumalabas yan. It's born out of your relationship. Yung compassion. Amen. When this is your motivation, kapatid, ate, kuya, this is ministry. Amen? Compassion is something from the inside na hindi mo talaga mapipigilan, na, na, hindi, na walang gawin, na hindi, na hindi ilabas, na talaga ipo-flow out mo dapat to have the bowels yearn. When this is in operation in your life, lives are being touched. When Jesus was moved with compassion all over the Bible, when you read it, lives are touched. Lives are what? Lives are changed, healed, delivered. Ang daming nangyayari. And if you let this operate in your life, just imagine of the things that you might be able to see. You'll be the difference. Amen? 
Pag ito motivation mo, pag ito nag-operate. Man, sabi ko sa inyo, healing is even so powerful when moved with compassion. Look at this, Matthew 14 verse 14. And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude and he was moved with compassion for them. And what? What did Jesus, what happened? Healed their sick. Moved with compassion, Jesus healed their sick. When this operates, it's it heals. Now, kung yung ko sabihin, super great motivation for healing. Sometimes you don't even need to say a word anymore. Pagka na move ka with compassion, when you see a sick person, grabe. Talagang you will see the magnitude power of compassion. Hindi magugulat ka na lang. Talagang grabe yung manifestation ng healing dyan. I used to, uh, I used to uh, naalala ko, sa Simone back in jail, in San Juan jail, uh, siguro uh, the, this was back about uh, three years ago, uh, no, four years ago. Meron doon isang may sakit. Actually, yung sakit niya, talaga namamaga yung buong ano niya. Namamaga yung buong uh, uh, binti niya hanggang, uh, hita hanggang binti. Hindi lang siya basta para nag, hanggang paa, nagmamanas. Tapos hindi lang yung may mga galis. May mga galis siya. Alam mo, when I, when I looked at him, hindi nga, sinabi, Pastor, may magpapapray po. Papunta doon sa likod, nasa likod, hindi makalakad, yan doon na yan. Alam mo, una nakita ko, hindi ako naawa. I was really moved with compassion. Nasabi ko, this is not right. This is not of God. We have to come against this. Hindi ito pwede ito. You know, di, kalimutan ko na nga kung anong sinabi ko. I just touched her leg, uh, touched his legs, and then I forgot the words that I declared, but basta sabi ko lang, Jesus loves you. Yun na nung naalala ko, alam mo, mahal ka ni Lord. Ayaw niya ito. In Jesus' name, be here. Alam mo, the next week, pagbalik ko, tuwan-tuwa sa'yo lahat. Pastor, 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 magaling na. Magaling na, magaling na, magaling na. Magaling na. Praise God. Nakikita niyo, wala nang steps, wala nang... When you are moved with compassion, kung meron nga kayo, makaram... makaranas kayo niyan at lumabas yan, lumabas yan sa puso nyo, naramdaman nyo, yakapin nyo na lang and just tell the guy or tell whoever it is that, that has this sickness, Jesus loves you. Be healed in Jesus' name. That is so powerful. Amen? Guys, compassion heals. It heals. Plus, the, the healing power that is already on the inside of you. It says here in Matthew 18, verse 27, Then the master of the servant was moved with compassion. I'm going to be saying things about compassion when Jesus was moved with compassion. Sobrang dami niyan in the Bible. I'm going to let you read all about it na lang. Hindi ko ba ilalagay dito lahat, pero gusto ko lang ma-point ma, ma out sa inyo yung motivation ng ministry is compassion. And then says here, it says here, servant was moved with compassion, released him, listen to this, and forgave him the debt. Look at this. Ha. You see what ministry is? The master was moved by compassion. Remember, ito yung may utang ng 10,000 talents. Eh. Okay, na utang. Nagmakaawa yung may utang, and then, ito yung tinatanong, yung tungkol sa about, you know, how many times? 70 times 7. Di ba na tanandaan? Eh? This, this was this passage. You see, when you are moved with compassion, magugulat ka na lang ba't ginawa mo? <laughs> Kahit gano'n pang kalaki yan, patatawarin mo. No guilt feeling. Pag may guilt feeling yan, wala, na-emotion ka lang, na-flesh ka lang. No guilt feeling yan, maniwala ka. Remember, death are also offenses. Natandaan nyo, I have this teaching about offense na yung offense is parang utang yan na kailangan bayaran. Amen? So just forgive. Cancel it. Cancel mo, hayaan mo na. Kalimutan mo na yan. Kasi yung utang, ganyan eh. Yung, di pa ako binabayar, di pa ako binabayar. Diba? Tapos pa, pagsisingili mo ka na bukasan, makikita mo. Pag ganun yun, parang offense yan. Pag na-offend ka eh. Inis na inis ka hanggat di ka makabawi, hanggat di ka mabayaran. Eh mo na, binayaran din yung susu eh. Double payment pa nga eh. Amen? So here you see, compassion forgives. Compassion on the helpless. Helpless yun, nagbakaawa na. Talagang wala na siya mabigay daw eh. Nagbakaawa siya eh. Pinatawad siya. Amen? When you are in the ministry, yung mga imposible, mararanasan mo. At itong mga to, mga bagay na ito, madadaanan mo ito if you are in the ministry. And if you are motivated by love and moved with compassion because it's in the inside of you, sabi ko sa inyo, it just flows out at walang pagkahirap-hirap ito na sa iba, paano mo nagawa yun? I was moved with compassion. Amen? At itong mga to, sa katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, it just comes out because this is a fruit of our relationship with the Father. 
He gives us the opportunity to experience these things. Why? To change lives. Amen? To be the difference, to touch people's lives. Miracle, tandaan nyo, mga miracle, bakit pa nangyayari yan? Because of God's love. Di ba supernatural yan eh? It defies the laws of gravity, or the laws of the nature, di ba yung ganyan? Ba, yung miracle eh, di ba? Kaya nga milagro eh. Bakit ba lumalabas yung mga milagro? Ba't nagkakaroon ng mga milagro? Kasi mahal tayo ni Lord eh. Hindi rin siya makapahig na ganun. Kaya tumutulong siya. Nagbimilagro siya. Amen? Para mabigay pangangailangan ng tao. Why? Because of love. It has always been love. It says in Mark 1 verse 41, Then Jesus moved with compassion, stretched out His hands, and touched Him and said to Him, I am willing to be cleansed. Move with compassion. Healing na naman. He is always willing to heal. Kaya sabi ko nga kanina, compassion heals. Tara na remember when I thought about uh, Isaiah 59? I guess, 58, uh, yeah, I think that was 59, yung topic natin that, that uh, a few Thursdays ago. And then sabi ko nga, di ba, if you go and read 58 and 59, lalo sa 58 pa lang, isang buong turo na eh. But uh, Isaiah 58, it talks about the fasting that pleases God. So I want us to see something here. Eh, meron kasing uh, it touches on healing. So, importante makita rin natin. I want us to see this. Uh, sabi ko sa inyo, basahin nyo before. You know, I, I, siguro may mga iba nakapagbasa sa inyo. But you know, move with compassion. God is saying in this passage, di ko kailangan yung fast na ginagawa nyo. Ang kailangan ko sanang ginagawa nyo, ito na lang. Kaysa nagpa-fast ka ng ganyang walang kwenta-wenta. Parang yun ang sinasabi ng Panginoon dito. Kaya pagdating niya rito sa verse 6, let me just Read it. He said, parang sinabi niya na, alam mo, imbis na yan ang mga ginagawa niyo, do this instead. Yan yung sinabi niya rito. Is this not the fast that I have chosen? To lose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke. In verse 7 it says, Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out? When you see the naked that you cover him and not hide yourself from your own flesh, then your light shall break forth like the morning. Listen to this. So sabi ganito, yung mga fasting na ginagawa niyo, wag nang ganun. Ito na lang sana. And then when ito na yung mga nagawa mo, look at this in verse 8. Then your light shall break forth like the morning. Your healing shall spring forth speedily and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Your healing shall spring forth speedily. Dito makikita that in giving, you receive. Okay. Back in the Old Testament, we know that it's doing first before you get, well, be, before you receive. But we already receive it already because of Jesus. Pero dito, meron lang gusto ipakita ang Panginoon sa atin dito. That in giving, we receive. You give healing you receive healing. Pastor, ano ka ba? Sabi, may sabi siya, may sakit na nga ako, sakit na nga ng balakan ko. Ito na nga, may, may, I'm dealing with something, I'm dealing with the sickness, tapos ako pa mag-heal. Baka mamaya, may, wag na wag mong iisipin na makakapagpasa ka ng kung ano. Kung meron ka mang maipapasa ka, pati diyan ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon at yan ang healing sa, sa, sa puso mo. Now, tandaan natin, ano ba yung may sakit? Yung spirito mo ba? Nagkakasakit ba yung spirito? Nasaan yung healing? Nasa spirito mo, di ba? Tama? That because the same Spirit of God that raised Jesus from the dead is the same Spirit that you have inside of you. Yung Spirit niya, perfecto yan. Walang sakit yan. So ano yung may sakit? O sige, may dinadaan ng kaman o meron kang, meron kang iniinda, katawan mo yun. Pero hindi Spirito mo. So may kakayahan ka pa rin na magpagaling. Amen? Sabi dito, in giving, you receive. In healing, you receive healing. So imbis, imbis na iniisip mo, inda ka ng inda dyan sa iniinda mo, why not pray for someone else? Even in your bed, you can pray for somebody. Lay hands on people. Amen? Nakukuha niyo ako? And maybe, maybe, nakalagay dito. Actually, if this is not a maybe. Then your light shall break forth like the morning. Your healing shall spring forth speedily. And your righteousness shall go before you. Amen? You have the ability and power to heal. And it says here, give healing, reap healing. Give and get your healing. Amen? Help people. Be available. Or even, sabi ko nga kanina, even nakahinga ka, pwede kang mag-pray sa ibang tao. May mag-message, may makita ka sa community, asking for prayers, pray for them. Amen? I tell you, maybe this is the message you are not hearing from God. 
Let compassion move you and see your healing. Amen. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come against all sickness in Jesus' name. Kung ano man yung iniinda mo ngayon right now in Jesus' name, leave and be healed. The way I commanded this, command this to someone else and see your healing manifest. Amen? I just want to, to read Isaiah 58 in the message translation. Basahin ko lang in the message translation, uh, verse 6 to 9. It says here, This is the kind of fast day I'm after. To break the chains of injustice, get rid of exploitation in the workplace, free the oppressed, cancel debts. What I'm interested in seeing you do is sharing your food with the hungry, inviting the homeless poor into your homes, putting clothes on the shivering ill-clad, being available to your own families. Do this and the lights will turn on. Let me repeat that again. Being available to your own families, do this and the lights will turn on and your lives will turn around at once. Amen? <laughs> Amen. Your righteousness will pave your way. The God of glory will secure a passage. Then when you pray, God will answer. You'll call out for help and I'll say, Anak, here I am. Yes, we know. Hindi mo na kailang magdu muna bago siya may gawin. I'm just saying here, maybe God is trying to tell us something. Anak, you're not flowing out from the love of God that I gave you. From my love that I gave you. Amen? Ginawa na ni Jesus lahat. Tinanggap na natin yung love. It's already in our hearts. Hindi lang natin napaflow. Bakit? Baka iniipit mo. Amen? If you're not seeing your breakthrough, baka nagpipigil ka. Baka di mo siya na manifest. Sabi dito, do this and your lights will turn on. Your life will turn around. Amen? Like I said kanina, there is so much about compassion in the Bible. If you know your Bible, let the word speak to you. Hayaan yung kausapin kayo ng salita. Balikan nyo lahat itong mga sinabi ko ngayon, itong mga binanggit ko, mga passage sa inyo ngayong gabing ito. You know, ayoko na masyadong pahabain yung message ko. I just really pray that you get my point. My point is this is what ministry is all about. If you are not operating in love, if you are not operating and being moved by compassion, being moved with compassion, you are not in the ministry. I don't know I don't know what to call that. Kung anong meron niyang ginagawa mo. Amen? Kung umiikot ang ministry ni Jesus sa compassion, this was His motivation. So let it be ours. Amen? And compassion won't flow out without a relationship with the Father. Balik pa rin sa intimacy. This is ministry. Love it will move you to action. Kikilos at kikilos ka. So guys, I'll end with this verse. I'll let it speak to you. It says in 1 John 3, verse 17 to 18, But whoever has this world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him, how does the love of God abide in him? What is the love of God again? Give and forgive. And in verse 18, 18, My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Let me read this in the message translation. If you see some brother or sister in need and have the means to do something about it, but turn a cold shoulder and do nothing, what happens to God's love? It disappears. How does it disappear? And you made it disappear. My dear children, let's not just talk about love. Let's practice real love. This is the only way we'll know we're true. We're living truly, living in God's reality. Nakapatid, this is what ministry is all about. It's not about an emotion. It's not about just a service. It's not just about food program. It's not just about you know or ano yung ginagawa mo man ngayon. It's the fruit of our relationship with the Father. Apart from relationship, you don't have a ministry. And if you are not operating in love, that is not a ministry. You're just building an empire, building a company. Let it flow out. Mga kapatid, huwag niyong sakaling. Huwag niyong pigilan. Kayo yan eh. Your nature has been changed when you receive Jesus. Love ka na. So hindi mo pwedeng pigilan yung love na maglumabas. Amen. Uh, kanina nga, nakita na natin sa Isaiah 58. Baka mamaya, kaya ganun, kasi nagpipigil ka. Give love, reap love. Love is not an emotion. Love is a gift of God. Manifest natin, mga kapatid. And let's receive our breakthrough. Amen? 
So I'm, I'm just so thankful to God, you know, that, that we are able to do this together. Ito, natatanggap natin ang mga salita ng Diyos. And I pray na after natin marinig ang salita ng Diyos, we put into practice. Kasi saya naman, para ka lang tumisabi sabi ni Jane, para ka lang tumihin sa salabin. Tapos, di ba, nakita mo yung dumi, tapos lumabas ka na naman, parang wala lang. Sayang naman. Di ba, kung nakikita natin na parang, yun, know, na-lose connection ka, hindi naman nawawala. Andyan naman yung love na yan eh. Ang problema, baka hindi mo na natatouch. Baka hindi mo na, you're just losing contact. Medyo ang contact mo na dito na sa labas. You're just out of tune. Amen? Hindi ka lang naka-intune sa boses ng Ama. Sa boses ng Panginoon. Amen? So guys, this is what I have for you guys. So maraming maraming salamat mga kapatid. Let, let's just pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, Panginoon, maraming salamat. So right now, I just speak to each and every one of the people here tonight. That let the love of God manifest through you. If there's any one of you na has been praying and has been praying for a breakthrough, may, may this be sickness, health, relationship, whatever it is. God's answer to you tonight love. Manifest the love that is already on the inside of you and see your breakthrough happen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your love, for your mercy, for your grace, for your peace, for your joy. Maraming maraming salamat po. There are no other words to say, but thank you. I'll let the Holy Spirit touch you tonight as you worship the Lord. As we worship tonight, feel the love and let the love shine through you that others may see the love of God through you. In this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.